Hey guys, this is your boy Dino K, okay? DLP here. Um, welcome back to another video to my channel. Um, today, uh, we will be checking out the uh, new death battle that um, I'm actually pretty hyped for, but um, considering who the characters are, I am very hyped for this death battle, but I do have a fair. Fair enough solid prediction on who I think is going to win, but I'll be talking about that very shortly. If you guys don't know who I'm talking about, it's actually the death battle between um, Sanji and Rockley. That's the latest death battle that's come out yesterday. Um, now, in, you did better. Yeah. Now, in terms of who I think is going to win this, um, now this is only just a speculation before the research has started, but it's just a thing I've watched so much now to watch now to now to ship it in uh so i would i have a good chance of saying that i know rockley fairly well rockley during the very first series the naruto series when they were all young rockley was my favorite character by far and that was because of the push he had during the tuning again tuning exams against uh gara then the whole Sasuke retrieval work when they go and go after to get Sasuke back. Rockley comes in to fight Kimino, Kimino, uh, Kinimaru. Sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, that, those scenes just made Rockley look so damn badass, and I've really liked him as a character. However, since I would say I would have to say since the arc with uh, Sasuke, when the whole Sasuke retrieval arc ended. Uh, I feel like, I um, don't know whether it was the writer's choice or, I think it might have been the writer, uh, Kishimoto, I think, the, re the writer for um, Naruto, I feel like uh, the push for Rock Lee has definitely uh, gone down a lot, like he didn't, he actually didn't push Rock Lee at all, because after the whole arc with um, the group trying to retrieve Sasuke and it failed. It kind of ended up becoming more of a show with Naruto being the main guy and he's coming going after Sasuke. Like the other characters didn't have much shine as they did in the original Naruto series. Or at least that's what I think. And I, I feel the same way with Rock Lee. And it's very disappointing. Like I mean, Rock Lee had some moments here and there during. Shippuden, but it was just nowhere near enough to what he had in the original Naruto series. I mean, yes, he did open the sixth gate. Um, I think it was during the fight with Madara Ojiha, six uh, Sage of Six Plus Madara Ojiha, and um, uh, Mike Guy when he uh, opened his eighth gate, Gate of Death. I think uh, Rock Lee then was able to go up to the sixth gate, Gate of Joy. Um, but that's about it, that's like the vivid memory I have. I mean, for some reason he stopped pushing Rock Lee, and Rock Lee was one of those characters who was able to um, become a ninja without the use of ninjutsu or genjutsu. He relied only on taijutsu because he didn't have the talent for ninjutsu and genjutsu, so he put all of the hard work towards a taijutsu user and he became one of the biggest taijutsu users, one of the best taijutsu uh, users out there. Um, so I am disappointed that he didn't get, in fact he didn't get any push <laughs> after the arc with um, Sasuke trying to come back to the village or them trying to bring back Sasuke to the village. So just from that aspect, I mean I did watch Boruto and Rock Lee was there as much older and there's um, Metal Lee. But we didn't. I didn't see much of it. I'll be honest. I didn't even watch much of both until the end of the episode. So I kind of dropped it. Um, yeah, even then I didn't see much of Rock Lee, and I don't know what he's capable of as at this point now, uh, when he's much older. I don't know if he's even able to able open the eighth gate, uh, eight gates. I mean, all eight gates. I mean, he was able to open six gates, but I don't know if he's able to open the last two now. That's something I'm not sure of. Uh, so just from these facts and speculations that's in my mind running right now, I'm already going to say that Sanji is going to take this uh, battle because uh, unlike Rock Lee, Sanji is like one of the main characters in One Piece. You know, he's like in Luffy's crew, right? So I've 
Uh, I mean, I've from what I've seen until the Sky Island arc, Sanji was pretty powerful. <laughs> Sanji was already pretty powerful, and I heard that he's become even more powerful from the Sky Island arc onwards. I mean, so many episodes has come by since then, uh, and I've heard so many. Like I, I, you see, funny thing is, Sanji is actually one of the few characters I haven't seen spoilers of. Well, I'm about to see it now in this death battle, but otherwise, I haven't seen, I haven't heard hardly any spoilers on Sanji when it comes to One Piece. I've seen Luffy, I've seen uh, I've seen a bit of Zoro, like his skills as a sword user. Um, mostly Luffy, when it came to spoilers it was mostly Luffy. Uh, Ace dying, that's definitely something I have heard and seen. Um, Sanji I haven't heard much, but I've heard he's become very strong. He's a lot more powerful than he is now, than before he was in the Sky Island arc. And I would have to give this to Sanji, but like I said, I need to look into the research on what these guys have done uh, for me to have a better, I guess, a prediction for you guys. But anyways, sorry for the long talk, but let's get right to this. 19 minutes ain't that long. Um, yeah, let's get to it, shall we? Um, okay, I think seems fine. I think it's a, I think everything's okay. Yeah, let's get right to this, guys. And three, two, one help for sponsoring this episode we all have goals and want to be happy but there's all right let's see one piece versus naruto Whew. it's gonna be good there are so many heroes with crazy over-the-top superpowers but there's one class of character everyone respects the master of the martial arts like sanji the sous chef of the straw hat pirate searching for the one piece and Rock Lee, the hard-working ninja warrior from the village of yeah. Naruto. Are they going to use Shippuden? Rock Lee? And it's our job to analyze Maybe. their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Wait, what? What Lee is that? I can't Somewhere tell. in the vast ocean is a seafaring land okay. of science. Oh, okay. The One kingdom piece. of okay. Germa. When the king of germs decided to churn out some kids, he got and an so awesome judge. idea. How about he make his kids into killer emotionless super soldiers? Oh. What could go wrong? He forced his queen to undergo surgery that would enhance their children during pregnancy. Oh my god, she that's wasn't fucked. much of a fan. So she took a drug meant to counteract the effects to hopefully ensure that at least one of her children was, you know, emotionally no. stable. Oh. A surprisingly low bar to aim for, but hey, good for her. God damn. And she pulled it off. While most of her children were violent sociopaths, one showed no signs of their shared superhuman genetics. This is Sanji. Sanji? Okay. Well, the poor kid didn't have a great chance. Here's the thing, here's the thing. Uh, I only watched um, One Piece until the Sky Island arc, so that's nowhere near enough information on who Sanji actually is. Like, during that time, they didn't even actually talk about where Sanji was from. Uh, we didn't have any inf Well, I didn't have inf any information during the arc on what Sanji's whereabouts were like. Unless that was only revealed so much later on than what I'm thinking of. Uh, his bounty is 330 million. <laughs> That's definitely a lot from the last time I watched, um, which is a few years ago. Okay, interesting. I mean, he was surrounded by actual superhuman bullies, but he found peace in cooking for his mom. Well, until she died, and then he was thrown in a dungeon. Look, I told you his childhood sucked. Wow. Fortunately, Sanji eventually escaped thanks to some help from his sister, who I guess was slightly less of a sociopath, huh. and made his way across the sea as a cook. Ah, uh, so that's Until he cooking. was shipwrecked and left marooned. Poor guy just can't catch a break. But Sanji found a new daddy in the form of pirate Red Leg Zeph, who trained him in his own martial arts. Not this side. Black leg style. Black leg style. Wait, shouldn't that be Red Leg style? I'm confused. It's an art that focuses exclusively on kicks, ah. which worked out swift. Wait, that red leg dude, isn't he the chef that he was, that Sanji was working in a um, place to cook, right? Wasn't he the chef, or am I wrong? Uh, he definitely looked a lot like the chef, but if I'm wrong, then please forgive me because I haven't watched one piece in God knows how long. Uh, and what I did watch was nowhere near enough. So I guess that's why he fights with his leg. Uh, black leg style. Cool. Right. Swimmingly oh. for Sanji. No. Puns are my job. I don't need you pirating that from me. 
As a chef, Sanji firmly believes his hands have no place in a fight. Uh -huh. To him, they should be kept as pristine as possible for cooking, which is frankly wonderful etiquette. Okay. Even if his own life is in serious danger, he will not break this self-imposed rule. Hey, you that's gotta not hand it to him. Black leg is like taking capoeira, taekwondo, and every other martial art with high flying footwork. And Since when did Sanji's leg go in fire? <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, clearly I've missed a lot, but okay, no one explained it. Mix them all up like a stew. Okay. And just like a tasty dish, he named his attacks after a bunch of French words, which I definitely cannot pronounce. <laughs> Though the most important to recognize is Diable Jean, also known as the Devil Leg. Devil By moving at incredibly Jean. high speeds, Sanji builds up friction between the air and his leg until it literally catches on fire. <laughs> To do so, he has to be moving his legs over 11,000 meters per second. Okay. That moves pretty lit. <laughs> Clearly, Sanji's super fast. What? He's quick enough to keep up with the pirate captain, Luffy, who effortlessly dodged laser beams from a robot man bear guy. Okay. It, it's a long story. Oh, wow. One piece wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Luffy. Luffy heart. Okay. That, the way he dodged those laser attacks, he barely moved. He just moved like that. Like, what the fuck is that about? <laughs> a very, very long story. Okay. Sanji's got plenty of other skills. He can kick your face so hard it makes you as handsome as that devil George Clooney. Oh, brother. Then he can start blasting and Danny DeVito you back to normal with another. And with the skywalk okay. technique, he can literally walk on air by, listen to this, Flicking his heels so quickly he creates dozens of miniature sonic booms beneath his feet. What? Excuse that me. Is insane. No, just that... never skipped leg day. In fact, forget the other days. All days are now leg days. Oh yeah, Sanji definitely. Sanji eventually <laughs> found a true family as a chef for the Straw Hat Pirates. Okay. With them at his side, he began a hunt for the All Blue, <laughs> a mythical location where every ocean in the world connects and all manner of sea life exists. Okay. A perfect spot for a chef of the sea. But just like all of us, he had to deal with his first and much crazier family at some point. Uh... And when he did. He got an upgrade. This is the Rage Suit, a miraculous outfit with hover boots, invisibility, air boosters for increased kicking power, and oh. a snazzy cape. Conveniently, the suit is stored in an easy-to-carry canister that can be opened for a magical girl transformation, like so. Oh, is this beer? Wait a wow. minute. If that's my beer, what am I drinking? Uh, oh, wow. Okay. I'm going to either need to go to the bathroom or the hospital. <laughs> While Sanji may not possess the superhuman ability of his siblings, he has learned something similar, yet entirely different. Okay. Hockey. Gesundheit. This power lets people push their body to new limits in a bunch of different ways. Okay, I've, I have heard of the term hockey, but I actually don't know what it actually does. Like, I don't know whether hockey is like... I've heard multiple characters have hockey in this um, show, but I don't actually know the term of hockey, like what it is, what sort of upgrade ability power up it is, uh, unfortunately. Uh, uh, like with Ornament Hockey, he can make himself hard. <laughs> Specifically to strengthen his limbs for ironclad defense and stronger attacks. Oh god. However, Sanji's own speciality is Kenbunchoku, or Observation Hockey. With this, Sanji can detect the presence of others, including through walls. He can even predict future events, at least to some extent. Wow. And hanging with the straw hats, let him push his abilities to the limit. He's strong enough to keep up with the likes of Zoro, Zoro. one of the deadliest swordsmen in the freaking world. Yeah. And he could battle the marine Fujitora, who could summon meteors from the sky. What? The largest of which, when compared to the <laughs> island of Dressrosa, appears to have a diameter of over seven meters. What is the show from? <laughs> and thus, a kinetic energy of over 12 gigatons of TNT. Oh my god. So, like, he fought a guy who could basically blow up a whole island in a snap, and then some. Okay, wait, I, okay, here's the thing, Zoro was my favorite character in the series from what I saw, but I did not know Zoro became so powerful, he was able to cut a fucking meteor coming from the sky. Cut, what's so, I know I've been, like, I've missed a ton of episodes from One Piece, but that's just ridiculous from. Oh, the next time you find a cook who can pull that off. What the he heck? He has his fair share of weaknesses, though. <laughs> Sanji sees himself as a gentleman, and thus refuses to fight a lady at any cost. Of course, yeah. Even his own life. And, uh, he's absolutely terrified of drag queens. 
That didn't age well. <laughs> but even with the setbacks and a horrifying childhood, Sanji is a man of the moment, an adventurer with a goal. Wow. One day he will surely yeah. discover the All Blue and whatever else comes. Now that that's the arc I watch. This is the arc I watch. What's this villain's name? Anil? Is it Anil? Please, please tell me if I'm right. If I'm right, I am very impressed with myself. But that's the. This is the last arc I watched. When Luffy went up against him, and he absolutely went nuts against him, and Luffy and his attacks wasn't exactly working on Luffy because the electricity um, did not conduct with rubber. It was Luffy, you know, gum gum, rubber. You get the you get the gist. After that, I was looking for a light. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh my God. Kotoha, okay. village hidden in the Rock leaves. Lee. Let's see what the they say of Rock Lee. I mean, from Naruto I know a lot of Rock Lee, so. We've seen them show up their awesome talent on death battle before. Oh, but okay. one ninja student sought to prove that talent wasn't naturally born. That talent could be achieved through nothing but oh, hard, hard work. work. This is Rock Lee. One saying that, let me give you guys a saying, sorry for pausing it too much. There's a saying that I follow a lot recently. He can get far in life with talent, but with hard work he can get anywhere in life. Just follow that guys, think about it and try to follow it if you can. First bowl cuts path to being a ninja He's was a Joan, anything but right? promising. See, the best ninja can use all sorts of ninja magic called ninjutsu or ginjutsu, mm -hmm. but not Rocky over here. Essentially, Lee was Nick born with a yeah. ability, unable to access the living chakra energies within his body the same way his peers could. But while this certainly made things difficult for him, he continued to train, pushing himself to yeah. become a splendid ninja. Oh yeah, he definitely. Said he got paired up with Neji, who might as well have the word prodigy stamped on his forehead. Uh, <laughs> hello, irony. With no real family to speak of, Lee wow, had that's no one deep, to guide though. him on his difficult path. <laughs> Fortunately, he found inspiration in the form of a fellow bull kind Mike individual, guy. Mike Guy, Mike a man who is simultaneously incredibly cool and incredibly weird. Guy saw Lee's potential and trained him to master the art of Taijutsu, yep. a ninja's physical prowess using chakra body and mind. So he's not going to be shooting fireballs or popping up clones of himself like the other guys, but he's going to learn how to punch harder than anyone. Actually, that's exactly the point of his martial art. Strong <laughs> fist. Strong fist. Okay, it's yeah. all about shattering bones. Yeah. Not just any Pretty ninja much. can master the form of strong fist. In the hands of a novice, it's a dangerous technique. Oh, yeah. One wrong move, and you could accidentally break your own limb. Yeah, that's pretty much what happened to Rock Lee when he went up against God and he used, uh... He went all the way to the fifth gate, I believe, gate of closing, and, uh... He couldn't lay Gar down completely, uh, unfortunately, due to Gar's sand, uh, kind of, um, limiting his, uh, impact when he dropped to the floor. And I gave God. And uh, when you use the uh, gates, the eight and the gates, when you do use them, the more you use it, uh, the more, the more physically you're getting hurt by it. Like you're pretty much paying a price for it physically. Um, so you're you're still paying a price for it physically because uh, it's 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 kind of like a double-edged sword. So yeah, it's it's yeah, <laughs> it's pretty bad. But Lee quickly got the hang of it and even learned some awesome moves, like mm. this killer of Zuna uh, drop on steroids. Lotus. The Primary Lotus, a technique so useful that many other ninja tried to copy it for themselves. What a bunch of cheaters. <laughs> He's also got this potion, and if he oh, drinks it, he goes into a super fist. zen state that makes him basically invincible. Incorrect as usual, Boomstick. That was due to American censorship. Right, it wasn't a potion, it yeah. was sake. sake. Somehow Lee's susceptibility it was a to potion? alcohol turns him into an instant expert in the drunken fist, yeah. based on an actual martial art. You know, Wiz, I've always <laughs> wanted to try that style myself, and uh, I'm not gonna lie, I've had a few. What's this? Dang. What's that? Uh, oh. <laughs> Correct. Did he have a shotgun as a leg? Drunken boxers only emulate the movements of the inebriated. They're not actually ow, 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 ow. Oi, go boomstick. <laughs> uh, uh, pizza cake. 
Anyway, when Rocky Road isn't totally slushed, yeah. he's got one more eight inch of his sleeve. Shit. The eight gates. In the world of Naruto, eight metaphorical gates exist within the human body, inspired by real-world Buddhist teachings of opening oneself to achieve enlightenment. Mm. But in Lee's case, it's opening a can of whoop ass. Think of it like that horrible myth about yes. humans using only one small part of their brain. Yeah. Each open gate increases Lee's abilities in some way. For example, the first gate allows Lee to utilize 100% of his body's potential by removing inherent mental and physical inhibitions. Yeah. The third gate lets him expend enough chakra all at once to perform his signature technique, the Hidden Lotus. Hidden Lotus. Yeah, the first few gates are pretty chill, even if they do wear him out. Thing is, the more gates you open, the more dangerous it gets. Yeah. But Lee wasn't afraid. By the age of 13, he could unlock five of the eight yeah, gates. That is more nuts. than enough to keep up with the likes of Neji and honorary Green Day member Gara. Gara. He's almost as quick as Naruto, who's dodged light speed attacks. Uh. And when he opened the sixth gate, he used it to slice up a giant meteor. Comparing uh. the scale of the meteor. That was during, this is, by the way, this is actually during the uh, Naruto. The last Naruto movie, when he went up against Atsutsuki, I think? When... was it? Was it oh, I can't remember what the guy's name was, but this was during the last Naruto movie where the media was coming down and Lee used the six gate to uh, smash it. Um, okay. ...here to Konoha's mountainside, and assuming Lee contributed his fair share to this group task, yeah. he must have produced a force equal to about 230 megatons of TNT. <laughs> The average nuclear bomb has a yield of about... He did not do it himself, though. So getting Obviously, hit by six gate Lee is like his having share. 50 nukes exploding in your face. Now, Lee has admittedly never used the last two gates. Uh -huh. However, there are multiple claims that he's mastered them by adulthood. And frankly, as the successor to Mike Guy, who did unlock all eight gates, yeah. Lee should be comparable. Okay. Guy could make a blast the size of an island with the seventh gate. With the eighth, he could go head to head with the ultimate big bad, Madara. Bad boy His Madara. Was back in more power than when Naruto's chakra blew a hole through the moon. Oh yeah. Four hundred pentaton yeah. explosion. That's way bigger than fifty nukes. Hell, the eighth gate can bend the fabric of space. Oh yeah, That's yeah. I know. Opening the eighth gate puts an immense toll on the body. Mm. The moment you open it, you've yeah. essentially guaranteed your own death. death. Yeah. yeah, but who cares as long as you take your foe with you. <laughs> Under Guy's training and with the help of his friends, Lee has shown that he is indeed a splendid ninja. Oh, yeah, definitely. Though he never quite got the chance to prove himself against Neji. Well, according to the wisdom of Gammy Boomstick, one's dead and the other isn't, so uh, I think I know who won. <laughs> Now the villager's expert instructor in taijutsu, and with a kid of his very own, yeah. it seems Rock Lee's hard work truly did pay off in the end. Right. To protect and maintain one's own ninja way. The third gate, gate of life, <sighs> This is probably, that was probably one of the most badass moments of uh, Rock Lee. Loved it. it. It's what made me love Rock Lee during this series, during the original Naruto series. Um, now, uh, just by watching this research, uh, I think my prediction has become a bit more solidified now. Um, Sanji's winning this. I, I'm sorry, Rock Lee. As much as I love Rock Lee, Rock Lee is my favourite character. Don't get me wrong, Rock Lee is my favourite character, but like I said, after the whole arc of uh, bringing back Sasuke in the original series, they, you know, the author neglected... Uh, to push other characters in the Naruto series like he did in the original one and that does include Rock Lee as well he barely had the push that he received during the original series uh, during the Gara fight during the fight with Kinimaru uh, he, he just failed to give that same push so since he never got that push like he did in the original series ever again uh, we didn't get to see more development from Rock Lee, whether it was abilities, whether it's him uh, going for training, whether it's him going through opponents, you know, fighting other opponents. I mean, we did see that in Chippenden, but still, like I said, it's uh, it wasn't as much as it was in the original Naruto series. So, just for the fact that he barely had any development and time to shine in the series, in Chippenden especially, I would have to say uh, Sanji's taking the sun. <laughs> Okay, forget Sanji, yeah. Uh, the people, like, it feels like the characters from the One Piece universe are on steroids, fam. <laughs> they are clearly, they're clearly on some next up stuff. Like, like, Zoro able to slice the fucking media? Like, oh, no, fam. Like, I mean, yeah, 
Rockley played his part in breaking a media in half, but he did not do that himself. That's one thing we have to make clear. He did that with a few other people as well, but Rockley still played his part in it. Don't get me wrong, Rockley's amazing. Rockley's so strong. You know, able to become a ninja, splendid ninja, by the way, with just hard work alone. Um, uh, I just don't see him being Sanji. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I just don't see myself um, seeing Rockley beat Sanji, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, let's get to this. Right, is everything okay? Yeah, everything's okay. Let's get to this. All right, the combatants are set. We've run the data through all possibilities. But first, if you want some of Lee and Sanji's fiery determination okay, in the sand, yeah. check out Blue Chew. This episode is brought to you by Blue yeah, Chew. Promo code battles and trade free. But right now Someone was calling me, but yeah. Um, let's go on with this. It's time for a death battle! Kari? Emma, I refuse to eat this. It's far too mild. Lacking in the fiery use of true spicy curry. Mild. This is the most perfectly balanced curry around. Oh, okay. He just, he dissed Sanji Shrewd of all people. Like, okay. Of all things he dissed Sanji Shrewd. Now I understand why Sanji got pissed. <laughs> I see your fighting skills match your skill in cooking. <laughs> Oi, okay. Is this Lee from Late Shippuden? I think it's from Late Shippuden. Show your chef some respect. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Respect? I'm a, <laughs> I'm a paying customer, and that curry was awful. Oh. oh don't, don't you like that? Look at me like that? Damn. Yeah, Jungle Fist is going to be doing bits here. But yeah, I still feel like Sanji's winning this. I don't see Lee winning, I'm sorry. <gasps> Observation Haki. That is nasty, fam. What? So I take it there's multiple Hakis in the One Piece series. Nuts, right? Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's good. Okay, that's a bit nuts. Putting his leg literally on fire. Piggy eaters are the worst. Um... Why is everything so loud? Fifth gate! Open! Oh, straight to the fifth gate, okay. Ah! Sixth gate of you! Open! Sixth gate of joy? Fam! A saku chaku! Oh no, never mind. Gate of wonder! Open! Oh, wait, wait, what? Sorry, sorry. Huh? Seventh gate of wonder! Seventh. He, wow, he opened the seventh gate like that. Oh, okay, that's a bit crazy. His suit. Fucking say my rip off now. Just kidding, guys. <laughs> Damn. Okay. <laughs> oh. He broke his ribs, fam. I am the youthful beast of Konoha. I will never give up. Eighth gate of death. Open! He opened the eighth gate, but... But what... Uh... Oh. Wait, who's... Oh lord. Since you wouldn't finish your food, I'm making you cough up whatever you've already eaten. Ah. Uh. Can't he manage? Oh my god, he lost a leg in that attack with from me as well. <laughs> Looks like Miles suited you best. My dish is too spicy for you. KO! Well. What? Okay, that's a bit of a overkill, man. I mean, <laughs> Lee was gonna die anyways through the eighth gate. Now that's one thing I didn't uh, didn't expect from this death battle. I didn't expect them to make Rockley use the eighth gate there. I mean, they did say that they it wasn't mentioned that Lee was able to open the seventh and eighth gate, but considering 
when it came to adulthood and he's the student of Mike Guy who did uh, open out all eight gates and take it they I guess it's kind of like okay since he's the student he's able to do it as well it's that sort of thing right okay damn okay uh, is it just me or was the voice actor of Lee a bit weird as well that might just be my opinion I'm sorry might just be me being a bit, bit too picky I guess Lee can finally have that bout with Neji now given Lee's years of experience <laughs> wow. and the power of the eight gates he definitely kept Sanji on his toes but Sanji was no slouch himself mm -hmm. and like Lee has trained all of his life with his speed and observation hockey he handled even the unpredictable drunken fist and it's while crazy. the seventh gate meant Lee could probably blow up an island that's not as big as the meteors the straw hats could handle simply put Lee had only one somewhat reliable method of a possible victory, Dang. the Eighth Gate, mm. a suicide move he's never actually used before. Mm. Not really the best argument for a win on its own. But yeah. Gate number eight can take on Madara. Sanji's tough, yeah, but he's definitely not on that guy's level. A mm. couple big hits from the Eighth Gate and Sanji's nothing but pace, so what gives? Well, Lee would have to hit him first. Yeah. While Sanji's power may not compare to the Eighth Gate, his speed is far beyond. Uh -huh. Recall when his fellow rubber rabble rouser right. Luffy uh, very patiently waited for a light speed laser to That's reach crazy. before dodging it. To pull this off, Luffy would have had to move 13 times faster than light. Sanji can regularly keep up with Luffy, and this was before he even got his super fast rain suit. Uh -huh. Don't get us wrong, the power of the Eighth Gate is incredible. Yeah. If we were to run this fight a hundred more rounds, Lee would surely land a winning blow with it a few times. Uh -huh. More often than not, Sanji's speed is pulling this one off. Yeah, okay. Given his speed, raid suit, observation hockey, and his fiery footwork, Sanji had everything Dang. he needed to outlast Luffy. He Lee whipped him open with just one leg. Victory. <laughs> yes, you could say he had a leg up on Ryan. Rock Lee, hand over fist. <laughs> foot over fist, but you Please, get it. Man, the winner is Sanji. Yeah, okay, no, I was right. I, I, I kind of saw this coming, I'll be honest. Thanks for watching this episode of Death Battle. Come back next week to see previews of our upcoming matchups. If you want to watch more stuff, you can click the boxes right around okay, here. Okay, who's next? And you can always pick up some TV merch at store.researchteeth.com. Who's next? Next time? Wait, what's up, Rolly? Season finale. Season finale. A death battle people were asking for so long. They went with Hulk versus Broly. Oh my god. Hulk from the Marvel Universe versus Broly from Dragon Ball Z. Holy shit. Wait, which Broly are they using? Are you using Dragon Ball Z Broly or are they using Dragon Ball Super Broly? Because we, we kind of saw. We kind of saw Dragon Ball Super Broly here. That's the, that's the, you know. <sighs> oh, Lord. That is, uh. I knew it was Broly. I just don't, I didn't, I knew it was Broly from the ice, but I didn't know who the other character was. Fuck. <sighs> that's the season finale. Oh, my Lord. Okay. Okay, they're definitely packing things up for the season finale. That's going to be a uh, fight to watch. With Hulk vs. Broly, I'm not sure who would win that. I mean, I'm... Oh, what's wrong? I'm sorry, guys. It's it's just Storm. Hello? Hello? Oh, Storm. Hello? You okay? No? Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah. Wow, Hulk versus Storm. I don't know who's going to win that. I, I am familiar with both characters. I think I know Broly a little bit more than Hulk, that's for sure. Um... But yo, this this death battle, I kind of saw Sanji winning this. I just didn't see anything that Lee has done. Don't get me wrong, what Lee has done is incredible in this time during Naruto. But I don't think it lands a decisive blow to Sanji. That would be enough for for him to kill Sanji. Um, yeah, as soon as I listened to the research, I was like, yeah, Sanji's going to take this one, unfortunately. As much as I love Rock Lee, one of, the, one of my favorite characters in the Naruto series... Yeah, Sanji was taking that. As for this the season finale, Hulk vs Broly, I have no idea. That's something we gotta see in the next uh, about Death Battle Research. But, either way, I'll end the video right here guys. Thank you so much for watching my reaction to Sanji vs Rock Lee. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry if it's a bit too long of a video, just a lot to talk about and whatnot. If you guys did enjoy my video, be sure to smash the like button, comment and share, do all those good things and see more content. I'll be doing more 
Uh, that's my reaction side is in the future. However, if you guys are new to the channel, come click the subscribe button and join the DLP guild today. So you will miss a single video from the channel guys for its gaming videos, for its reaction videos, or for its live streams. So as always guys, this is your boy Dina signing out. Have a nice day, stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next video guys. So until then, peace.